Hi guys, I uh, bought four of these plastic plates, big heavy duty things. I believe they're called chargers, or well, that's what my wife tells me they're called. Um, bought them in the recycling centre for, I should think about 10 pence each, something like that. And I've already used them for two of my rubber band powered cars. Uh, one, they were just very big wheels for one rubber band powered car, and then for the other one, I drilled holes around the edges, and put a rubber band through the middle, and put a weight on the rubber band so it wound itself up as it went along and then unwound itself, and put it all away. And then I thought I could do a gravity powered car using the same setup. So I put them back together. If you look at the rubber band powered video, I've actually got the plates the opposite way around just so I can tell from the thumbnail which one's which. But it's the same thing, it's two of the plastic chargers. I've got six holes with six barbecue skewers through it or bamboo canes. And then I've got some fishing weights here that I put a little hook on that I can hook over the bamboo cane. And then if we get it just right, the weight will make the wheel turn. They'll go down to the bottom and drop off and the wheel will carry on with its momentum. So we'll just move it around a little bit. So it's just going to start moving. There we go, that position. And we'll see if we can follow it. Not sure how straight it's going to go because it's all a little bit flexible. You could probably do better with slightly th thicker canes so they're not quite so flexible but as I say so go forwards the weights will drop off and the wheel will carry on on its own momentum <sighs> okay we went off a bit to the right but we nearly did the full 8 metres then. So we'll have another go and see if we can go a bit straighter. I think you can see it's all a little bit flexible. So if you did this yourself, I'd recommend thicker canes and take a bit of time getting it all lined up perfect. No doubt you could try different amounts of weight to see which gives you the best performance. So, need to position it just so they're past the top. Yeah, that's it. Going right again a bit. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah, we did it. I will give it one more go though, see if we can come Cross a bit further so we don't bump into everything. So this is gravity power. Just a short burst of power at the beginning. And then it's all down to momentum.
That's it. Still going right. All right. Try again. Clearly we're doing eight meters anyway. This is three nine ounce weights, sorry, three three ounce weights, total nine ounces. left a little bit. Probably too much. No, I think that's a bit better this time. Yeah, so eight meters, gravity powered, nine ounces of lead weight. So there we are, one, two, three, four, five, six holes around the circumference on both of them and those holes are a good tight fit for my bamboo canes or barbecue skewers but you could always glue them to make them a bit more secure. The weights, I'll show you the weights. S-shaped hook from a bit of bent paper clip. So it sits on the cane and when that hits the floor it just falls off. Simple as that. Automatic release mechanism I suppose you could call it. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.